In today's video, I will be showing you the top five most overpowered weapons in Warzone Mobile. If you guys enjoy, of course, hit the like button, subscribe, and let's get into gun number five. For number five, I guess you'd call it number five. I'm not ordering these based off of anything. They're all really good guns. We have the Ram 7. It's an extremely strong assault rifle. It outclasses most other ARs at medium to close range, but don't take my word for it. We're going to check out the stats. This might look a bit confusing. I'll explain. At the bottom, we have range in meters from zero to 50 meters. And then on the left hand side, we have time to kill from half a second to 1.1 seconds. These three colorful lines are all different assault rifles. At the bottom, of course, we have the Ram 7. It's the orange line here, and you can see its kill time is from 0.64 seconds all the way to 0.67, up to 31 meters where it takes a bit of a jump, but that jump is only gonna even its kill time out to these other assault rifles until it takes its throne from 46 meters onward. And then when you hit the 55 meter mark, it just gets blown out of the water. But you're not gonna really wanna fight people at the 55 meter mark in the first place if you have this gun. I think this undoubtedly proves it's still the best assault rifle. Here is my Rebirth Gunsmith. It's more aggressive with more recoil. And here is my Verdansk one. It's gonna be more controllable and have a bit more range. For our next weapon, we have the Bruin MK9. This is one of my favorite guns. It has no recoil, good magazine size, and good kill time. It's also extremely easy to use. Of course, it's an LMG. We're gonna pull the LMG stats on the screen right now. These are the top three LMGs. And as you can probably guess, at the bottom, this orange line is the Bruin MK9. It's going to consistently kill fast all the way from zero meters to 38 meters faster than the two best LMGs behind it. And then it's gonna fall off for a couple meters until we get to around 46 and it's just gonna stay consistent all the way up to 55. So it's an extremely, extremely good gun, especially at range. Here is my Rebirth Gunsmith and here is my Verdansk. Let me know in the comments which map you guys are going to be playing more. For our next weapon, we have the Ram 9. It's an extremely powerful SMG, and I know it was just nerfed, but it's still very good. Let's take a look at the stats. This is gonna be in comparison to the two other best SMGs. As you can see, the kill time from zero to 10 meters is the absolute best, and it falls off a little bit until you get around the 14 meter mark where it just takes over. And in my opinion, it's consistently the best close to medium range SMG. Around 31 meters, it's not gonna be great, but that's the reason you have another gun to use. At this range, you should probably pull that one out. But anyway, here is my build for both maps. This is consistently the best in my opinion. For the next weapon, we have the Holger 556. You've probably heard that name before from Call of Duty Mobile, but this is actually not an LMG. It's an assault rifle, and it's one of the best long range ARs in the game. So here's the graph here. This is the top four best ARs. And at the bottom, we have the Ram 7. Obviously, it's going to have an extremely fast kill time up to 31 meters. And green right here is going to start to contend with it after 31 meters. And and then become dominant from 55 and onwards. This green is of course the Holger, meaning that the Holger is going to be just a consistent, better long range assault rifle option. So here is my gunsmith for Rebirth. It's obviously more aggressive, harder to control. And here is my gunsmith for Verdansk. Last but not least, we have the WSP-9. I would say this gun might be a little bit underrated right now for how strong it is. It's easily my favorite close range SMG. Let's pull up the graph. So this is our top four SMGs in the game and obviously up to 10 meters, they're all pretty comparable. Of course, the Ram 9 is gonna be doing the best, but then you see a giant breakout here on this green line and that's gonna be, of course, the WSP-9. It's gonna be the absolute best time to kill up to 18 meters and then it's going to bounce back to reality and contend with these guys until it makes another slight breakaway and then falls completely off after 28 meters which is understandable because it is an smg and i'm not going to be trying to beam people too far away so this honestly doesn't really matter to me too much i think this gun is extremely strong here is my gunsmith i'm going to be using this actually for both maps and that's it for the top five guns right now if you guys enjoy of course again hit the like button subscribe and now we're going to show some gameplay where i went a little bit crazy on Rebirth. Alright, time to lock in. Gas is closing on us. There's one near me here. He's on top. Uh, is he gonna reach out us? I don't know. There's one 
right on us. Alright, we're getting sniped. I'm not sure where from. One inside there. No shot, he whiffed. We win those. Oh, wow, I can't believe you 